We can run no more. We can run no more from it. Let's just get right to it. Like, when does the internet even forget things? Like, most of y'all wasn't outside. And let me just get my grievance out the way. I don't like what y'all be doing with my name, yo. (laughs) I don't like that I be minding my business and a new story break and y'all just find a way that Joe Budden fits in this story somewhere. So Freddie Gibbs allegedly got jumped, was involved in a brawl, and all y'all had to say was, yeah, man, they treating Freddie Gibbs like new Joe Budden and Berg. <laughs> now, nah. now, I could understand why you guys put young Berg in there. Mm. The chain went around. Mm-hmm. I got it. Y'all don't let people grow. <laughs> but I only got hit once in 20 years, God damn it, One time. And most of y'all wasn't outside. I don't really think that's a fair comp. Now, get my shit out of the way. <laughs> Back to Freddie Gibbs. What do you want me to say about this? I hope they squash this shit, man. That's what I want to say about this. We said that mad times already, I know. and they didn't. They didn't. We said it every week. But now that it's gotten twice a week, now that it's gotten violent and physical in person, I, I really hope. No, so. No, this was still a pow pow. Yeah, this wasn't. This was still a pat pat. This not what it could have been. Yeah, this true. Not, true. I'm glad this is. Thank all God. Was. Round of yes. applause. Yeah. Round of applause. Did I see that many people involved. This yeah. Went. You missed that. You miss a good old fashioned knuckle up, even if there are 20 people involved on the opposing side. Right. This could have went bad. Normally, when people want to make a a statement this loud, weapons are involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if not anything fatal, then de- at least a brass knuckle, some Chinese stars, a blade, a poker. That poker gets tricky, right? I was just talking to my cousin recently about that. And he was explaining to me how he's seen cases where, you know, you get stabbed one spot real quick, whack, right in the back, and you lose up. life because there are so many important things in your stomach and if one of them get punctured and leak enough blood before somebody can get to it, you will die. Mm-hmm. And he said, I've seen times where somebody gets stabbed up 17 times. And because none of that important shit is hit, then they survive it. But the stomach and the back, the liver, mm-hmm. all that all gets shit, yeah. all tricky. That. All it take in a fight real quick is a boop. We seen it. We don't need to go through that mm-hmm. here. So thank God none of that occurred. Really happy about that. Whoever sanctioned this, thank you. For that part. I'm not thanking them for sanctioning this. Thank you for making sure this didn't get bloody to the point where Freddie couldn't go on and do his show. Mm-hmm. Now that that's out of the way, what else do you guys think about this? I almost want to never discuss rap. I disagree with everything happening in the rap. <laughs> Word. Everything happening, I disagree with it. I don't have a take. I don't want to keep coming in here twice a week to give you a take. I told these niggas stop ages ago. And I'm saying these niggas, but we don't know who did this. We don't know who did this. But again, we can't ignore the fact that months ago, Gibbs is out there saying, and I got two back-to-back shows in New York this night and that's night, th- that night. Do something, pretty much. Like, you're inviting. the. I said it back then. Shut up. I love Freddie Gibbs. I so, lo- I'm a Gibbs I do. guy. But that's my dude, man. Dude, it's like you doing more this than, than rapping right I, now. I will not alienate him. During tough times, I'm, the way that hip hop is known to do. I'm not doing that at all. I'm not alienating alienating him. I'm just saying, bro, you are. I think the antic shit that I see from him reminds me of the shit that I expect to see from those who have no other talent. Mm. So you have to do something to get your name mentioned out there. I got to do the extra shit. Stick was nominated for a Grammy. Word. For best rap album, you are in a different tier than this, and it's just like, at what point is does he stop? Like, what point do you just lead? Anytime something happens involving Gibbs, you only hear from him. <coughs> mm. See, I like that part too, though. I like the fact that Jim kept it quiet. Whoever did this is keeping it quiet. I do appreciate those things and what's going on, yeah, but, but no, I don't like what's going on. I'm saying it is 
We don't know, gotta hear from him either. Keep this shit off the internet. We all he's old and he's a friend in our age group. We came from the era where you don't do it don't go online. That's the other part. Too. In his defense though. <sighs> it's tough to be quiet when you are actively moving around. Like when you're actively trying to promote back to back projects, when you're actively trying to sell a tour, when you're active in going to some of these casting auditions and shit that he's going to, mm-hmm. like it's tough to be quiet. Like <clears throat> I'm but, sure that his team and agent and agents and whoever's behind him is saying not to be quiet. Maybe not on these matters. I was about to say that's all I'm saying. Maybe bro. not on these matters. I know you have to do your job. Well, once bro. the matter Come happens, on, you have to address it. Then it's you have a team true. of people. No, you don't. You had nah, he, he had to go on stage that night. And saying, he still didn't have to address anything. You could, yeah, you got to go on stage. He ain't say shit on stage. Yeah, all right. Listen, when when famous people get in the shit, if the blowback is wide enough from fans, their people will encourage them to address this publicly. Mm-hmm. Kaylani, she just had that back and forth with the interview about whatever that was, but when she addressed it on her socials, she said, I don't even normally ever address this type of Fair. Shit, but my team says I should, so here I am. Fair, yeah, I, just, I see that every week with fair, somebody we just, addressing something that we just had one of the biggest moments ever where Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. Chris Rock said, I'm not addressing this unless I get a bag for it, and that's all y'all getting from me. Don't ask me nothing else about it. Great point. It's so it a, don't not, have to be it's not addressed. A great point. And I hate when y'all do that. It's levels to this. That's Chris Rock. I'm talking about Freddie Gibbs. Chris Rock has the luxury to be able to do that. Which Chris one? Rock's name, as it stands still, if he does nothing else for the next five years. 10, 20. I'm with he's you. He's going to be Chris mm-hmm. Rock. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs is not in that boat. I know, but who do you think had more pressure to respond? That's what I'm talking about. Pressure? Yeah. Chris Rock had more pressure. you talking about prime. I don't, know, though, I don't, because, I don't think cause, so. Because Chris is not as so. accessible as Freddie. You know? And not only that, but and he's, he's a victim there. So... Nobody is urging him to come for. He didn't. Well, gotta get tricky. Yeah, can't say that. He saved by the comedian tag, and that was at the Oscars. If you're asking me about who's pressured more in their circle, I think it's Freddie Gibbs, because that's why he went on stage that night. If you're asking Joe, and you didn't ask me, but I'll cheer because I'm here. Yeah, if there was one reason to not do the show, it's. I am in physical danger in the city, or I've been physically harmed. Mm-hmm. See, I think the opposite. Those are, I think the opposite. I think that the the the. I don't know, him, you know what I'm saying. But so I think that what I've seen of him and the persona that he's created for himself. Mm-hmm. All right, nigga, y'all got it off. I'm still gonna do my show. See, I'm still gonna get my bread. And that's that. And that's and that. I'm gonna talk shit on the stage. That's the persona that yeah. he has given. We don't I, we don't have to die over these non existent virtues. I'm not disagreeing with you. He don't have to die over his persona. I agree with but you. But that's I, I want to break some. To I want to break point. some of that conditioning. That goes back to my point from even the yeah. first incident that happened, where he comes out and say, "Oh yeah, because Jim is from New York. Yeah, I'll be in New York. I got two back to back shows: New York and Buffalo." What's up? like? And right after he said that, that right we there? came in here and said he should skip Buffalo. Yeah. Saying that as somebody that said some shit in Buffalo and mm-hmm. they, they got it surrounded rather fast, like. You don't want to play out there. <laughs> you don't play really nowhere, don't want to play nowhere. nowhere. See, but, nowhere. And, that, and that's the other thing. Yeah, I'm here to just help the kids to understand culture and conditioning, right? Like, outside is now a buzzword. See, and yeah. I hate when things become buzzwordy because we lose the importance of what that stemmed from and how it was birthed. Outside meant... Hey, I am able to be outside in these numerous places because of the respect I give, the respect I'm given. I'm not threatened anywhere. I have history in these places. Like, that's what outside meant, right? And there is a privilege that comes with that. As an entertainer, you make your money by being outside, right? Right. And sometimes those th- that window gets small. Like, it could... Quickly, it could quickly turn from you making music at home or you tweeting on Twitter just about artists saying fuck shit. Bunch of niggas that have said fuck shit about me on Twitter. When I go to their bio, it says aspiring rapper. 
right? Like, it could quickly go from that to now you're surrounded by the people that you once spoken about. Now you outside. Hey, where can you not be outside at? That becomes like an eco- a economic decision now. Fucking, uh, we seen this back in, uh, back with uh, Trick Trick. Oh, they've told all the stories now about just, you come to Detroit, you act a certain way. You know the shit that Tim yeah. and Royce was mm-hmm. on. Yo, mm-hmm. now you can't come to Detroit. No fly zone. You can't move around here. Mm-hmm. We will make it uncomfortable for you. The Cardi B video that came out. Yo, do you want it to be uncomfortable for you? Like, comfort. Comfort. Freddie Gibbs behavior to me and i agree with you i'm just saying it differently it needs to match what i believe his aspirations are because when i look at him i see somebody with huge aspirations Mm -hmm. and to do that guess what you got to do you got to be out got to be outside exactly Mm -hmm. so you don't you you got to be outside make it harder for yourself outside that's what i don't get for what i'm not saying that you're not tough can't defend yourself can't handle yourself i'm saying fights win or lose are business decisions, yo. Mm-hmm. Whether you're on the upside or the downside of this. Whoever's in business with Freddie Gibbs do not want to wake up the next day and see a bunch of clips going around of <clears throat> what we saw. And where was that? A little barbecue spot. Is that what it was? Yeah, uh-huh. it was. Yeah. Barbecue spot. Allegedly. You are lying. No. It sounds about right. Look at the beginning. Look. When Real is when barbecue. is the barbecue spot? When is the fire barbecue spot ever in the white part of town? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to go to where it's at. And you're dealing with buffaloes, particularly the gentlemen that he's been beefing with are beloved, and there's not much else that comes from that town. Yeah. They might not even know them. Yeah, that is true. You know that's what I'm saying? Part, like, was, yes, <laughs> but that's the scary part. That, exactly. That's the part about beef. Don't you don't take that. Like, that's hometown that. hero shit for real. Like I don't have to send that. Yeah. I only take one fifteen year old. The, the I would have skipped this show. I wouldn't have skipped the show. I, I would have skipped going to the local barbecue pit like I'm the man. Yeah, you just gotta be hungry that day. <laughs> I know. Little grub, little grub hungry. Yeah, I got somebody traveling with me. Yo, go pick that up. Word. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah. it don't look like the no no shop to Buffalo. I mean no diss to Buffalo, but it don't look like the friendliest spot, nigga. It look like the barbecue and they're banging. I about to say, and we know what that means. That's when you know. Yeah, that that's Miss Thelma back there cooking that barbecue. I'm always impressed with how fast word gets around the hood or the work that it went into to spot this person at this time. Because mm. word goes into that. I wouldn't be shocked if Freddie Gibbs got a few phone calls that day. Like, this wasn't a surprise. Like, even if you didn't know that the shit that you was talking all of these months might lead to this, I'm sure a day before this show, you got a couple phone calls that said, yo, high alert. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because you get those calls. Dog, you should know that in this this particular instance. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get a phone call at all. I've been antagonizing the king of Buffalo. For whatever reason. And now I'm going to Buffalo. It's an away game. To get money. It's an away game. You, it's still an away game. To get money. I don't get the money. Yeah, you don't want to be outside. Money. I'm going to get I'm, money, but no, it's you, an away game no, to can't. get the money. It's an economic thing. No, you can't get money in there. Oh, you can, but something's going to come with it. Yeah. yeah. You have to think about or this every pe- time you come here to get yeah. money. Because what did he have? Back-to-back shows in Buffalo? No, no he had, he had a show in Manhattan. New York and then Buffalo. Buffalo. Back-to-back. I hope that Freddie Gibbs is good. I hope that this shit... I mean, he performed... Face was a little lumped up. Hey, I got on Ustream with a with a lumpy eye. Y'all said I had. I thought I was beautiful. He went. To, you know, he, he he didn't like the fact that they were saying his chain got snatched because in there they were saying there's no rabbit chain. So he showed that he still got the chain. He put a picture up of it, and then put a video up that he was at Icebox. Yo, I don't care about you niggas' chains, yo. I don't care if y'all lose them shits, flush them down the toilet. Like I don't care if they get. Like I don't care. And I, I do. Y'all just care a little more about him than me. Nah, yo. Do you see what? Like, this is just the yeah, most ignorant. You see what I'm saying? Nah, you see what I'm saying this, this? No, this the crazy shit. My nigga, he could have really lost his life there. Exactly. Like it only took two niggas to, to stab him in the right spots, and he could have been laying down bleeding in the bar. One, one. I'm word. just saying, right? He gets online, and this is where. And again, I don't know the dude. And them so I two feel a little funny speaking on. And, him, and, but, and the nigga that that uh, did it might not have been thinking nothing about a chain, dog. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. When it's murder on my mind, it's murder on my mind. And it could have been a 15 year old little nigga just try- dog. And you get online instead of saying, I thank God for my life. You talked about these, yo, 20 of y'all and y'all couldn't even get my shit. Come harder. See, that's where I feel like I sound like the old, old nigga in the club, right? Seem like after this, the first thing to do would, hey, get mutual parties to get somebody on the phone and get to it now. Mm-hmm. This should show us that this could get a lot more serious if we both decided to take it there or if one of us decided to. And we shouldn't want that. Everybody got kids. Everybody got a family. And I'm assuming you love them both or all of them more than you do your chain or chains. And it might not, again, it might not even be someone that you know or contacted. It could just be someone, yo, that's my man. Damn, I hate taking shit to TV shows. Kennard killed Omar. Like, that wasn't even what the beef was. He wasn't with him. Mm-hmm. Little 15 year old popped Omar. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it don't have to be the nigga you beefing with sent somebody. Niggas could just know they don't fuck with you right now. Then he put a clip up the next day of him going to get another chain or something like that. Which let me know. I thought he. I had the same chain. No, it was a he different. was going to get something. Who he had the same piece. He was, he was going he to get something. They didn't get the chain, and he know. was going to get something. But he was at the jewelry store, and he was excited about the ability to be able to, or it seemed that way, the ability to go right back after such a jarring event, right? But my thing is, well, look at the life you've afforded for yourself. Wow, what a luxury mm-hmm. to be able to go through that, and the next day have disposable income to spend on jewelry. You're doing great. Seemed like you would. It seems like you enjoy the ability to do great <laughs> and to be great. So why step? Why, why put more hurdles there? Is all I'm that, saying. That's what I kept saying. Why make it harder for yourself with unnecessary carpets? I don't like seeing it. I, I hate it. This yeah, it, I, I expect. I don't expect this from him. That's why I am keeping it on him. Like I'm a fan of his music. Mm-hmm. You are too good at like this type of shit. You get from the ones who can't rap, and from kids at least. The kids, yeah. I expect that from them. That's in their bag. That's what they do. Mm. They get on Instagram and send shots back and forth at each other. Something happened. They come talking shit. Yeah, come harder next time. Like, that's their bag. The lyrical niggas be looking for a little shtick, too. They do. Yeah. It just goes different and looks different, but. Yeah, for some reason, we don't want to see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to see that. I'm just glad everybody was able to walk away, though. That part. That's, that's yeah, the most that important part. New job. Enough of daddy.